A lot of you on our YouTube channel have asked a lot of taxidermy questions. So I asked Dick, could we just take this whole thing out now that we've caped it and he could show you guys how to get the, the cape off the skull. The only way that you want to do this yourself is if you're very com comfortable. If you yeah. can do it, leave it like this to bring to your taxidermist, that's the best option. Okay. To freeze it like this and bring it that way or bring it in fresh. Because what you're doing here is it's very easy to make a mistake that it can, all, it can everything, everything can be fixed, but you're just making more work for your taxidermist. Okay. And a general rule is more is always better than less? Very much so. When, when you cape back here, here, here are the front legs of the deer. You can see that we're a good six inches behind the front legs. The first cut that I do is I'll lay the deer just like this and I'll start from the mouth end. So, what? so you, you'll start here and come just, back? Just come back to about here. Okay. Don't try to, to be too technical with this. Just stay close to the bone. Do not let your cape sit out, uh, especially in warm weather, yep. on the animal any longer than you have to. Yep. That, that's about far enough for there. Okay. And, and then I, I flip, flip it over this way. You want to come from here and go right back to the back of the burr on the horn and come under here like this. It's very hard to do. It's really a lot of skin, thick skin there. Get that right, right under the burr. And then start skinning it back and then do the same on the, on the other side. Yep. Stay right in tight to the bone. There's a bunch of meat and fat and stuff here. Yeah. And there, there was the ear canal itself. Yeah. You want to stay back in right tight to the bone. Okay. And the taxidermist is just much better equipped to handle that. Okay. And then we'll take our multi-tool, or any screwdriver will work. And 101 uses for a Gerber center drive is what this is called. Look at that. Just auger it out of there, huh? Yep. Like, and as you go, just keep skinning. Once you get it started around the burr, you're yep. just using the, the face of that screwdriver. Yep. Just keep skinning around. And then you'll, when you get to the eye socket, you've got to be careful. And the best way to do that is stick your finger right through and feel the eye. and. I'm not quite there yet, but. And then try not to cut your finger. Yeah, you're a lot less likely to cut the height if you know if you do, you'll cut your finger. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the truth. <laughs> and right here is your eyeball, just go like that. And then you're, you're through. And just keep going around. And stick your finger right through it so that you're pulling it away and you know you're not cutting any, any eyelids that way. And to get at the tear duct, you want to come from the bottom. If you okay. come from the top, you will slice it every time. Get right down in there. Yeah, that's actually your tear duct right there. And then I like to flip it over and do the other side. It just seems to go better if you're relatively even. Now when you got through both eyes, Lay it right Straight like this, yeah. Yeah. and then just do this part of the neck. You know, you're inside the mouth. This is the back corner of his, of his yeah. mouth. Our, our lower jaw now is done. Okay. You're just about done there. We about got it, yep. Cartilage in the nose is still there, but I, most taxidermists definitely would prefer to do that themselves also. Yeah. And then the best way, now when it's, if this is totally cooled off, if it's right. not, Let it cool. leave it open for a little bit to cool off. But this one's completely cooled, so I like to fold the face down, fold the ears in, and have nothing but hide exposed. Nothing but hide exposed. Okay. It, uh, and then, Put it in a game bag? Put it in a game bag and put it in the, in the cooler. 
All right.